today we have our first look of NBA 2K22 Current Gen's cruise ship. This year sets sail aboard the Concha del Mar from the lobby to the top deck. Each level of the ship is designed to offer various hoop activities. Additionally, seasons will offer exciting new excursions that take place in tropical and recognizable locales, with every season providing fresh content, new rewards, and unique events for engagement. I'm not gonna lie, Current Gen's looking like a vibe. Drop a like in the video if you're going to current gen comment if you're going to next gen we got info on both in this video so let's get into it major announcement y'all i will be playing nba 2k22 a whole day early every year i have the opportunity to do this i get on the game a day before the official release date so the official release date is september 10th i'm gonna be on it september 9th at 8 a.m and what i'm going to do is show y'all the city and the cruise ship before anybody else literally every year i'm always the first person to upload this video so first of all if you're not sub with notifications on you are literally throwing your own bag i'm going to be the first person to show y'all this and second i need y'all to let me know what do you want me to show you on day one do you want me to show you the city or the cruise ship let me know in the comments below what are you more interested in i'll do whatever y'all want i don't care so yeah y'all again september 9th at 8 a.m the video will be out so make sure to sub with notifications on and look out for that what's up simply squad it's your boy clout chaser grinding and today we have our final info before nba 2k22 release date the cruise ship in the city blog and trailer now i'm gonna be straight up the trailer was disappointing to me in the fact that it doesn't really give us that much info what's really important here is the nba 2k22 park blog this gives us a ton of new info a ton of stuff to get excited over and will hopefully give you a clear direction on which game you want to start nba 2k22 current gen or nba 2k22 next gen if you already know what you're going with why are you keeping it a secret bro plug me with the sauce i need to know what y'all want to see me on first day i'm down for whatever i'm here for y'all and to prove that we're we're gonna get right into the info so to start off the only things i noticed in the trailer was the new matchmaking system which looks like it's gonna have four different court designs depending on what affiliation you choose side note if you didn't know the city is back on nba 2k22 next gen it's just a more compact better city and the affiliations are the same the wildcats the knights the beasts and the vipers now the matchmaking looks like it's only going to be three on three matchmaking like 3v3 pro-am on 2k20 another thing i noticed is that the mamba court is back the 4v4 court is back on next gen which is a w and then after that the only cool thing that the trailer showed me was that you get roller skates as one of the rewards but that's for both gens that's current gen and next gen other than that the trailer was a bunch of my career cutscenes if you want to see the full thing for yourself i'm either going to link it down below or put it at the end of the video in its entirety so y'all could see what i'm I'm talking about but i feel like most of y'all have already seen it so we're gonna get into the real info the park vlog i'm not gonna lie i'm feeling devious i'm gonna start this off with the thing you're already waiting for the first look at the current gen cruise ship this nice little screen cap right here let me know what y'all think about this personally i don't know how to feel i get it looks more vibrant it's a little more colorful but to be honest it just looks like the current gen park but on a ship to clarify i mean the 2k21 current gen park but who knows man this is only one one little screen cap y'all forget what i said about there only being one screen cap of current gen 2k22 they just released a lot of footage here is the first ever look at the lobby of the current gen cruise ship I take back what I said. Current gen is low key a vibe. And I don't know if y'all peep, but there's an NPC right in front of the lobby. So there will be NPCs on current gen that you can interact with for extra rewards. But next, the my court. The my court's pretty basic stuff. We have it every year, except for last year on next and we had rental courts they were awful so i'm glad that my court is back on at least one game it might be back on next gen 2 i'm not sure yet. and finally what they're calling the top deck of the cruise ship
so again, I take back what I said about it looking like current gen 21. It's low-key a vibe, bro. Like, they got a boxing ring in there. If you can actually box with five, seven tiny players, bro, I want to run all y'all's ones, bro. All y'all catching the smoke. Now, that was such a dope look into current gen, but now the park blog has finally been released, and there is a ton of info to cover. We're just getting started, y'all. They say a little bit more info about current gen in this park blog. They elaborate on the top deck. Resting above deck 14 is deck 15, which features two v 2s 3v3s in the Gatorade training facility which has everything you need to keep your conditioning at an elite level. Once you finally reach deck 16 you'll find numerous courts waiting to host 3v3 games and even a new 5v5 court with park rules surrounded by a lazy river properly titled the moat. There's a 5v5 court in current gen? You'll be able to easily identify which NPCs offer side quests with an exclamation point floating above their head and the top deck features a reality show called the goat boat and you can interact with the members to receive more challenges. Then the last thing they mentioned about current gen before going into next is lastly to avoid getting cabin fever the crews will dock at my i don't know how to pronounce that word locations this year seasons will serve as the gateway for exciting new excursions taking you to tropical and recognizable locales each season there's so much more to do on and off the cruise bolstered by thrilling new events with it without giving too much away keep an eye on the horizon this year for some things you'll have to see to believe so current gen is looking like a w but they go even more in depth on next gen we talked a little bit about current gen now let's talk a little bit about next gen first of all affiliations are back like i said the same for affiliations but what happened last year was if you played in other affiliations you were leveling up 50 percent slower to legend but this year they're giving you a 20 percent xp boost for playing in your own affiliation so no negatives to playing in other affiliations but there's a positive to playing against your own people the next thing i want to cover is the next gen matchmaking this is exclusive to next gen only there will be three Three types of matchmaking 3v3 player versus player with no squads allowed you're not allowed to bring a super team in there you have to go in there by yourself three players against three players the second is 3v3 player versus AI team up with other my players squads allowed in this one to take on a wide array of famous ballers starting with our own cover stars dirt Kareem and KD I'm guessing you're only allowed to farm badges against the AIs because if not people are gonna be boosting like crazy and then 3v3 player versus player cage matches so I guess the cages are back in a way trampolines and basketball go together like peanut butter and jelly i disagree loki unless you're playing slam ball but the cages are back for the people that are into that new locations in the city basically they're adding a bunch of celebrity npcs for you to interact with for extra xp like rappers celebrities everything like that i'm not going to touch too much on that what i'm gonna go into is the daily quest you will have the opportunity to get five new daily quests that will help you earn rewards like vc xp personal brand points mvp points exclusive gear and more for those of y'all that don't know what mvp points are they cover by saying everything you do in this city and we mean everything earns you mvp points nba and city games interviews side quests runway walks yes runway walks among other things will bring you one step closer to becoming mvp of this city the ultimate goal of any 2k baller mvps of the city unlock a penthouse apartment quick access to affiliation courts and more no matter if you're a city player nba enthusiast or somewhere in between you can become an mvp of the city just by playing the game the way you like to play it now going back to the quest there's a lot of things you can do in this city that will count as quests whether it's completing statistical milestones in the city to earning endorsement cash for promoting local businesses and creative ways to taking selfies in front of city landmarks now the seasons i was hoping they would elaborate more on the seasons xp and they do first they clarify that you will not lose all the cool stuff you earned in previous seasons when a new season rolls around they say absolutely not everything you've earned from previous season carries over to future seasons the real benefit to moving towards seasonal xp is that it keeps each season fresh every six weeks there will be a new pool of rewards like player panels green indicators clothing drops jump shot releases and more get to level 40 and you'll earn the big reward for that season level up to level 40 in four out of the nine seasons and you will become a legend they don't need to be back to back then they say we obviously can't give away the legends reward but we will say that it'll be as fun as ever i hope you're right because the portal on next gen was an L, so I hope y'all redeem yourselves this year. Next, they talk about how throughout the year, the city itself will change, how it looks like murals and billboards and stuff like that. Then they say, 
Start preparing yourself for the city slam. What's that you say? We'll tell you in time. If I had to guess, that's probably rival day. You know, where all four cities compete against each other. The city slam sounds like it's gonna be rival day. Then they further elaborate on side quests, but there's one side quest that caught my eye. The race of the week. This might be the king of all side quests. That's because whoever wins the race of the week will win one million VC. You read that right, one million VC. Each week there will be a new race course set up throughout the city. You'll use one of the various vehicles available to you, a skateboard, BMX, bike, etc. to complete the course as quickly as you can. The person with the fastest time in the entire community, one winner across both PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, will receive one million VC. This isn't a winner take all though, people who participate will win rewards just for participating. Then they go into next gen events. A big part of playing this city is the events and that hasn't changed. We're bringing back some of the favorites while adding new and exciting events to keep things fresh. One of the biggest events coming to season one is the Chips Ahoy Weekend Challenge? Where the winning baller takes home 1 million VC. We don't want to give away too much more here either, but we think you'll enjoy what we got in store for you. A Chips Ahoy where you get 1 million VC as the reward? That's dope. Now I need to backtrack real quick because I don't know how I skipped over this, but my career, they go into depth about what my career is going to be like. Your My Player is MP, a high school star with a hit social channel featuring videos of him embarrassing amateurs on the playground. MP has just moved to the city with his best friend and business manager, Ricky Bennett, and they've got big plans. Not only do they want to take over the basketball world, but they want to make their marks in the exciting worlds of music and fashion. The ultimate goal remains to make it to the NBA and lead your team to a championship or three, but how you get there and how you build your personal brand along the way is up to you. My career has become more immersive than ever, allowing you, the player, to dictate the terms. There are many paths you can take to the NBA and many side hustles you can pursue once you get there, but it's up to you and your friend Rick. So that's pretty much it, y'all. This is going to be my last video before 22, so y'all let me know, are we going with next gen or current gen? I'm going to have a poll on my community page as well if y'all want to go vote on that. But until then, man, thank y'all so much for watching. I love you all. And as always, keep grinding. Balling, balling. Who can we never be falling? Right so she never be calling. Still hitting shots while they steady be taunting. Balling, balling. Who can we never be falling? Right so she never be calling. Still hitting shots while they steady be